Yo, what is going on guys? I Almighty here. Got a game of Team Deathmatch on the map showdown for you guys. Today I wanted to talk about my YouTube story. Um, and by the way, if, if, if some of you guys are wondering, you know, hey, why is he going to talk about this if he only has 22 subscribers and just now started this channel? Well, if you didn't know, I had a channel before this. And the reason I'm saying this is because I have gained some subscribers before I said that I had an old channel. Or, yeah, before or after. I don't know. However that goes. Anyway, um... I had a channel called JPM730 Productions, and I had about 200 and, oh man, I can't even remember, like 230, I think. I think that's what I have now. I, I think I had more. I think I had like about 10 or 15 more subs than that. I don't know. Um, but I wanted to tell you guys my YouTube story because I know a lot of people um, are telling the story, or, or they used to. Um, I, I saw, I was watching a lot of videos today uh, from the past of when people were telling their YouTube stories, so I thought I'd tell mine. And I started JPM7, well, I had made a lot of account, a lot of accounts before I was making videos. I really just made accounts just to subscribe to people so I could watch their videos and to comment on videos. And I didn't make my channel to hate on people. I just made channels to, you know, subscribe, favorite videos, stuff like that. Um, and I, I used to like to play around with, like, the background color, like I said, even though I I'd never made videos on them. But I finally um, started making videos after I watched. Um, there were three main commentators that I watched. It was um, Blame Truth, C Nanners, and Hutch. I believe those were the three guys I used to watch all the time. Um, and I, was, I thought it was really cool how they recorded and talked over their stuff. And I was like, hey, that'd be something cool to do. Um, and it was, like, probably... A long time after that, um, I, I bought a Dazzle, and that was the birth of JPM 730 Productions. I think I made that channel in 2010, and then didn't get the Dazzle till like, uh, let's see, I think I, I think I made the channel because I knew I was getting a Dazzle, and then I got the Dazzle around January and started making videos. Um, I made about 50 or 60 videos on JPM 730 Productions. Um, all over, uh, overall, it was a pretty successful channel, I guess. Um, I wasn't as active uh, as I should have been, and listen to me say that while I'm not even really active on this channel. But the reason I'm not very active, guys, is because school, school and golf has been really taking up my time. And I apologize for not being able to post videos. I'm sure you guys are like, wow, you know, he never posts videos. I don't even watch him anymore. But, you know, I, I just wanted to apologize for that. But anyway, that's not what I'm here to talk about. Um... But yeah, so I started making commentaries. Um, well, well, I guess I should say I got the Dazzle. I had the Dazzle before, and I could never figure out how to um, put the video into Windows Movie Maker to commentate it and all that stuff. So I took the Dazzle back, and then it went about a year, and then that January of 2010, I got the Dazzle. This story is really confusing because I can't even remember half the stuff, but if you're, lo if you're following along, that's great. If you're not... Um, you can go ahead and leave the video if you want to. I don't, I don't care. Whatever you, whatever you want to do. Um, but I got a new one, and that was I got the new one after I figured out how to do it because the videos I still had the videos on my laptop saved from when I had the old Dazzle, and then I put them in Windows Movie. I can't remember how I did it. I think it, I think it like automatically did it for me or something like that. But then I was like, oh sweet, you know, I, I figured it out. And I figured out that I could do commentaries with my rock band microphone, so I freaked out and was like, oh yeah, this, oh yeah, this is awesome. And um, I'm still using the rock band mic ever since. Um, I, I really enjoy this mic. Um, I, I really wish I could get a stand mic, though, or, or just a stand in general for this microphone, because like I said, it is a pretty good microphone. It's a Logitech, and Logitech makes a uh, blue snowball, if you didn't know that. So Logitech uh, makes some great microphones. And, you know, I... I love this mic. It really is it's a great mic. And if you guys are looking into doing this, um, then if you have a rock band mic and a pretty good capture card, then you're ready to roll. Um, the thing is, um, well, well, I guess I'll just say uh, end it there. That's pretty much the birth of my YouTube channel. I started growing, started making, uh, I think it was Black Ops was the real game that I started uh, recording was, yeah, mostly Black Ops. Um, and, th and that was the birth of, of my gameplay commentary life, I guess. Um, if you're looking into doing it, it's something great to do. I, I did it as a hobby. I don't really do it as a job. I don't care if I get big. I don't care if, you know, I don't care for like all the money like most commentators do nowadays. Um, I, I just miss the old gameplay commentators. You know, Hutch, he barely ever posts gameplays now. At least I don't see that. Um, C Nanners, he rarely does it too. You know, all these guys. Blame Truth is still doing it. Blame Truth is still going strong. I love Blame Truth. 
Um, but, you know, I just wish people would go back to the old gameplay commentators. And, you know, me saying that, I kind of wish, like, I think a big, a major, like, suspect in making people or making the big commentators like Hutch and Cnanders not really pose is because just everybody does this now. And, yeah, I know, I know I'm doing it. I have some, I have a friend that's doing it also, uh, Badger, RSG Badger. If you want to go check out his channel, his, uh, I'll put him in my sub box and I will link him in the description. And I'm also going to give some other shout outs at the end of this video, but I need to continue with what I was talking about. But, you know, just everybody started doing gameplay commentaries and people just kind of, you know, stopped doing it. And now there's thousands and thousands and thousands of people doing it. If you go on, I mean, pretty much gaming in general or doing this has pretty much blown YouTube up in a sense. Um, and, mu and music videos with Vivo and all that. But um, anyway, guys, that is my YouTube story. Like I said, if it was hard to follow, I apologize. It was even hard for me to follow a little bit, but um, if you want me to clear things up, if you have any questions for me, let me know in the comments. Also, I'm going to give my shout-outs to uh, Recoil Gaming TV, CTM430 Productions, and Dylan J Gaming, and RSG Badger. All those guys' this channels uh, will be in the link in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I hope you guys have an awesome day. All right, guys. Peace.